What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. And behind me, I've got a couple pairs of Brunt shoes. This is going to be the next gen Brunt Marin here. Now here is the current original Brunt. Uh, this is the original Marin. I've had this one for about going on six eight months now um i haven't worn it every single day but i've worn it on a number of jobs it's done fantastic jobs so far but my biggest complaint with it was is that it wasn't anti-slips you really were sliding around quite a bit and i actually ended up stopped wearing these on most of my jobs because going to my metal trailer in the rain was just a big no-go unfortunately now brunt did listen. They they were like, yep, we know that they're not anti-slip. We're going to redo the soles. And recently they came out with the Brunt Omen. As you can see, I've been wearing these super heavy recently. I've done a lot of grinding with these things, some tree work, really important through their paces. And I love the new soles they put in these things. They're using this new sole called the Brunt Cushion, which is actually really cool. And these are really, really comfortable. I've been wearing these things every single day and I just love them so far. But the biggest thing I like about them is that the new soles in these things are now slip resistant, oil resistant, and non-marking. The, the soles now are actually a significant improvement from the old soles. You can see that the new Brunt logo, if you have the logo that's now horizontal, that's how you, know you have the new generation of Brunt shoes there. Um, you can tell between the two shoes that definitely this is far more grippy and the old style is actually just very slick it's very slick it feels like it's a bit harder of a sole here and the new generation feels a bit softer and it basically gives you a lot better traction will they wear out quicker that's what i want to find out so i'm going to obviously keep wearing these and see are they going to wear out pretty quick or not now this is the next gen uh, brunt marin here and of course it comes with the all new soles so just because I didn't have even put them on yet, but you can tell the new differences between the original and the next generation here. Both claim to be waterproof. The waterproofing is a little bit more, you know, I noticed it right away out of the box. I'm like, oh, waterproof was the old generation waterproof. Yes, they were here. They had a little sticker on the back there. And they made some changes, of course, to the stitching. We now have triple stitching up here. And when it was originally just two stitches down here, and then I think there's a few other spots I saw with triple stitching. Or nope, that was about it. Just right there had the triple stitching. This is the same laces. And for the most part, they're relatively unchanged when it comes to that. Because I believe the biggest update they did was a new sole. Now also looking inside, and it's kind of hard to see here. Uh, but you can see the old ones, basically just an all black interior there. Um, I know Rose Anvil did a, you know, cut these in half. I'm sure I'll do a new one for the next generation. And But you can see inside there's a bit more work done on the inside here. You can definitely see, you know, definitely some new interior uh, materials being used there on the inside of those brunts. So I'm, of course, going to wear the next generation brunts, and I'm going to see how well they do. Now, my complaints with the, you know, the originals we're pretty much just the slipping and sliding around. Um, I don't do, you know, I'm not, I'm not on my feet, you know, 10, 12 hours a day like some trades are, but I do some pretty heavy duty work, you know, tree trimming, I do junk removal. So I am, you know, in landfills doing a lot of crazy stuff. And of course my shoes are gonna take a beating really, really fast, but not necessarily the soles. I don't necessarily gonna walk around a ton. So when it comes to what shoes I'm going to wear, these are going to definitely be taking a beating. So just like, just like the omens that I got in recently, uh, but has brought improved them. Let's find out. So I'm definitely going to wear these things, see how well they do. But if you're curious, the differences, if you got the original Marins, you want us to necessarily go to the new one, the next generation ones. That's the two differences I see right out of the box there. I will say the omens are kind of what, kind of what I've got that I had in here for a couple of weeks. I got the new sole, they have the new insole as well too, and it's been a massive improvement. I think it's definitely the right direction for Brunt to go there, and they are definitely way more comfortable, and they have definitely fixed the slipping problem. So that gives me a ton of hope for the next-gen Marins there. So guys, if you're wondering, hey, what's the difference between these two? You know, what's the difference in the next-generation one and the current generation? That is what you're going to find so far out of the box. But again, time will tell what other differences we see here, how much more durable they are, much more anti-slip they are if you got any questions guys i'm happy to answer them as i get wearing these things let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching guys stay safe out there